What's good with you, YouTube fam? You guys are now watching the Cali Effect, and today we are doing the top five decks post link that are not Zodiac because I know how much you guys hate Zodiac. Before we can get into the video, we gotta talk about this game, fam. I'm telling you, bro. You gotta cop this, man. I don't even like DC, but this game is the shit, bro. Without further ado, let's get in the top five. Number five on this list is Cosmo. Now, Cosmo does come in a variation between Cosmo, True Draco, Cosmo, Metal Foe, Cosmo, True Draco, Metal Foe, Cosmo, True Draco, Metal Foe, Fire King, Demise. Cosmo, True Draco, Metal Foe, uh, the list can go on. But this deck has so many combinations of decks, it can actually throw the opponent off on what particular strategy you're playing. Not only that, untargetable Dark Destroyers just seem to be a little bit unfair for the Link format. Especially considering that this is a deck that doesn't rely on the extra deck. Number four on this list is Lightsworn. Now, Lightsworn is a deck that did make an appearance in our earlier videos, you know, Lightsworn being meta, and a lot of people complain because it used Zodiac. Well, I'm here to tell you that Lightsworn can compete when Twilight Sworn comes out. Be on the lookout on the video. This deck summons monstrosities such as Judgment Dragon and the other Judgment Dragon and even more Judgment Dragons. Also, with the access of Black Lesser Soldier and Chaos Sorcerer, this deck can be really good. But most importantly, you cop this yet, fam? I know you got... Bruh. It's called DC Comics Deck Building Game by Cryptozic. Buy it. Number three on this list is Invoked. Now this deck is, oh man, probably one of my more favorites on this list. Invoked allows you to abuse hand traps to the ass, like three copies of Ash, three copies of Ghost Ogres, three copies of Dueling Lock, hand traps for everything. But most importantly, you can take advantage of them being in the graveyard by activating Invocation, two specials on the Purgatrio, Macabre, or the Earth, or, or the Wind Monster, my apology, Raging All Alike. It has an excellent Zodiac matchup because all you do is Book of Eclipse it, Book of Moon, or Quaking Mirror Force it, make the Purgatrio, and then attack for game. This deck is a genuine sleeper. Number two on this list is Dinos. Now, Dinos have been good ever since Rex Raptors hit the scene in the 2000 anime, the original series. Okay, you know I'm bullshitting. Dinosaurs have just gotten good now that Lynx are out. And seeing that Lynx did slow down other strategies, it did almost the exact opposite for Dinos. It kind of sped them up. Reason being is because the opponent is slowed down and now you can summon big monsters like Ultimate Conductor Tyranno for a pill card. It's free. You can also gain the advantage of your Lethal Saga, which makes it even more deadlier. Banishing your opponent's Link monsters in their deck could be crucial especially with our limited card pool. Number one on this list is easily the best deck. I'm sorry, there's until the ban list comes out and hits it, this deck will forever be good. And I gotta say, I did say it was trash in the beginning, then I started playing it. And I said it was trash because it couldn't keep compete with Zoo. But now looking at it, it can compete with Zoo even. This deck is awesome. It's DC Deck Builder, the thing that you guys should be purchasing. And if y'all ain't got nine in your area, then I don't know, I guess it's like Amazon or something. Number one on this list is True Draco. That's right, Soldier Boy has made an appearance for Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's coming to you to destroy all your monsters and spells before using them. The biggest proprietor of what True Draco has going for it is a card that's actually of old to come of new. Ignis the Heat True Draco Monster is a Monarch card and a respectable stats of being 2400 attack and 1000 defense. That allows you to even abuse further cards such as Monarch's Eruption, Tenacity, Stormforth, and even Domain inside a True Draco. This deck can completely lock your opponent out of the extra deck, as well as already the inspiring combos it has. This deck is really good. 
But I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. So thank you guys so much for watching another segment of The Cali Effect. I want to know you guys' top five that aren't on this list. I missed quite a few decks. This is actually the first time Mermills and Yangzing did not make our top five list. Please like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, enjoy. What's good with you, fam? You guys can always catch me on social media, face chat, or my gram. It's always going to be the Cali effect. Most importantly, if you want to buy the cheapest cards from your favorite Yugi tuber, you can go to eBay or in Google Documents that is down below in the description. Make sure you subscribe to my alternate channel, King of Leon, for other things Cali effect related. But most importantly, treat yourself to another one of these videos down below. Thanks for watching.